If you're not familiar with them, these two lookers are Yvette Cooper and Jess Phillips, both MPs for Britain's rabidly feminist Labor Party. In December of 2015, they launched a campaign they called Reclaim the Internet, which would enable people to stand together against sexist abuse, misogyny, racism and violent threats online. At the time of launch, Yvette Cooper commented, If you're making rape threats and violent threats to kill people, or if it's persistent, targeted, deliberate abuse over a long period of time when people have asked you to stop, well, that's a bit like stalking. Now, as part of the campaign, Britain's leading cross-party think tank Demos have produced a report looking into online misogyny. I've left a link to the report in the description. But in summary, they collected one and a half million tweets containing the words slut or whore. They were then sorted by a natural language processing algorithm which detects and removes tweets where the word is being used jovially, as a self-identifier, or in a non-aggressive manner. You know, tweets about how good the slut walk was, shit like that. The interesting thing about this report is that of all the tweets that ended up in the misogynistic aggressive category, 50% were sent by women, 40% were sent by men, and 10% by users whose gender could not be identified. That kind of fucks up the narrative, doesn't it? Hmm, it certainly does, Bearing. Not the result feminists were expecting at all. Now, let's play a guessing game. Try and guess how they responded after seeing the report. Did they A. Accept the report's findings for what they are, professionally compiled statistical data prepared at the Labor Party's request by one of the most reputable research bodies in the country, B. Submit their queries to Demos in relation to the collection and compilation of the data and ask that particular areas of concern be re-verified to ensure the integrity of the report. Or C. Pretend nothing happened and get on with the business of blaming society's problems on men. And if you chose C, you're absolutely right. Jess Phillips published this article in the Huffington Post on the 26th of May, the very same day the Demos report came out. The closing paragraph says it all. She says, Reclaim the Internet is trying to make sure that freedom of speech for all the amazing girls and women is not drowned out by faceless avatars. I want spunky women shouting up and facing honest-to-goodness debate and challenge, not men with spunky names bullying women into silence. What do you mean by men with spunky names? Why is that a factor? And is bearing a, a, a spunky name? I suppose it, it it could be spunkier, couldn't it? Like, like it could be like Lance. But we're getting off topic here. As your research report clearly demonstrates, you've got more reason to be concerned about women being bullied and silenced by other women than you do about men. I don't think you really give a fuck about this research. I mean, if it had have supported your whinging position and helped you top up the old oppression points, you'd be peddling it to us like it was the most important groundbreaking report of all time. But it doesn't support your position, so you've chosen to ignore it. That's right, an MP for a major political party in Britain has chosen to ignore valuable research because it doesn't support her notion that women are victimised by men. Jess Phillips is the elected MP for Birmingham Yardley, which has a population of around 107,000 people. I'd love to know what the electorate's roughly 53,000 males think of her after having seen her not only fail to act in their interests, but to feverishly, and you could say deceptively, act against their interests. To give you some idea of how she represents her electorate, here's part of Jess Phillips' woeful maiden speech in the House of Commons in May 2015. Um, I wonder if Ms Deputy Speaker has read Catelyn Moran's book, How to Be a Woman. Yeah. In this book, she compels people to stand on their chairs and shout, I am a feminist. <laughs> Perhaps if the motion today carries, the Speaker would allow us the indulgence of standing on these green benches all together to shout those very words. Uh, how about fucking no? You're in the House of Commons, you can't stand on the fucking seats and scream, I'm a feminist. What a fucking dumb thing to say. I am a feminist. <laughs> so I was going to leave it there, but as I was making this video, Terry emailed me an article by the ABC here in Melbourne. It features none other than our good mate Clementine Ford Verdana. and her take on this. So I thought we'd better have a quick look. Women accounts may be run by men, Ford. Feminist and writer Clementine Ford, known to receive a copious amount of abuse on social media... Yeah, she's also known for sending a copious amount of abuse on social media too. Just thought that might be relevant. ...said the research may be flawed because the account verification process had not been explained. 
It would be interesting to know how many of these accounts were verified to belong to actual women, she told the ABC. I'm well aware that women employ the language of patriarchy against each other in order to negotiate some form of nominal power. But there is also a rising practice of men creating sock accounts in which they pose as a woman in order to make it seem like this isn't a gendered problem. Fuck off, Clementine. Do you honestly think the typical bloke would go to that much trouble? If I wanted to call you a bitch and tell you to fuck off, I'd just call you a bitch and tell you to fuck off. Jeez, I think you're clutching at tinfoil hats with this one. Demos told the ABC gender was detected using a natural language processing classifier developed by the University of Sussex, which looks at the user account which sent the tweet, taking aspects including their username, name and description into account. Well, there you go. It sounds like these people know what they're doing. It'll be interesting to see how the feminists handle this report over the next couple of weeks. While it would seem outrageous to continue denying the credibility of the report, or the report altogether, I just can't see them taking ownership of that 50% figure. What do you think? Well, I better fuck off, because in these modern times you just can't be sure when the next horrible female cyberbully is going to jump out of the darkness and trigger the fuck out of you. Cheerio. Cheerio.